Hi, this is Coffee County Mayor Judd Matheny. Stay tuned for the Mayor's Message. Welcome to this edition of the Mayor's Message. I'm Coffee County Mayor Judd Matheny, and have our uh, Register of Elections with us, Andy Farah from Coffee County. Andy's also a former county employee, so I'll let him tell a little bit about his background and then some about his job description. He's actually my neighbor here in the Coffee County Administrative Plaza. Um, he is a separate office than mine. He's appointed, uh, not elected. Uh, he has a separate budget from the county that we um, approve and um, he is uh, uh, works for the state. He'll, I'll let him explain his uh, scenario with us. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Andy Farah, Administrator of Relations here in Coffee County. Uh, I came to the county in 2011, uh, March of 2011, so I've been here a couple of weeks. What did you do before that? Uh, before that, I was with Airmark, uh, working out of Nashville. Uh, got tired of that drive. Service, yeah. Got tired of that drive and uh, driving back and forth yeah. up there every day. So I was looking for a local position and uh, came into the county as uh, purchasing. Uh, worked there for eight years before I uh, became administrative election, uh, January 1st of 2019. Um, so I've been here a little over 12 years. Um, the administrator of election works for the election commission, which is appointed uh, by the state election commission on recommendation of our state leadership. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the state senator and the state rep for this area yes. have a lot to do with who's on that board. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the election commission is set up by state statute. Um, whoever holds the majority seats in the uh, House of Representatives and the Senate control the number of seats in the election commission. So uh, right now it's current makeup is three Republicans, two Democrats. Um, I work directly for the election commission. Um, they appointed me, uh, like I said, in January of 2019. So I've been here a little four years. Um, uh, what do we do in the office daily? Um, every day we receive uh, updates of voter registrations from the driver's license center. Uh, anyone that's uh, got a driver's license can register there make changes to their addresses, stuff like that. Um, we also uh, work daily on purging uh, voter rolls. So anyone that moves out of the county, um, anyone that's passed away, uh, we do that on a daily basis with working in conjunction with the state. Um, we, uh, all the voter registrations that come in, we have to verify they're 100% uh, filled out correctly. Uh, U.S. citizen, state of Tennessee resident, uh, signature, that kind of stuff. If they don't, then we're required to mail them a problem letter. So they're not fully registered until everything's 100% complete. Resolved, yeah. Yeah. Um, what do I do? Preparing for elections, uh, I'm always looking for uh, Coffee County citizens to volunteer to work for the elections. Always, uh, we have a great database of workers here in the county, but I'm always looking to keep that that rotating um, and looking for new new workers. Um, Working on polling locations, we just went through the redistricting uh, last year. Um, that was uh, an interesting process. Um, so I just uh, encourage everyone that if you did not vote in 2022, go to our website, go to govotetn.com, uh, verify that your voter registration is updated you know where your voting precinct is on election day and that everything's correct. Good point and there is a cutoff before every primary and every general where that has to be done in 30 days. Yes, 30, 30, days. 30 days in advance. So you do need to get out in front of that and um, but point is his office is working every day all day long to prepare for elections. So when they come um, he just has to roll out the machines and coordinate his volunteers but uh, it's your responsibility as a citizen to make sure you're registered to vote and make sure everything's current. Um, he can, if you have any questions at all, Andy can walk you through that. Um, 
very easily stop by my office and we'll take you over to Andy's office to see the way. But he does a great job. It's beyond reproach. Tennessee has very, very, very fair and uh, judicious elections. We're, we're proud of that process. So, yeah. Andy, thank you. and Thank you for your past service to the county and your service to the county and the state now. And uh, thank you for tuning into this episode of the Mayor's Message. And we're going to be getting deeper into the budget in the coming episodes, uh, just like I am in real life. Thanks. Mm -hmm.